Well, the last two games have been pretty underwhelming, especially blowing a 2-0 lead at Old Trafford. We've done that far too many times against Manchester United. A terrible, terrible collapse. I mean, Unai Emery looked like he was ready to murder someone after the game. <laughs> serious, serious supervillain vibes. Anyway, one thing you will say is that when we've had a disappointing result this season, we've bounced back pretty much immediately. We've got the 5-1 defeat at Newcastle. We go and beat Everton 4-0. Getting smashed at Anfield and then beating Palace at home. And then even the defeat in Warsaw and then a few days later beating Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. And the list goes on as well. Anyway, today's opponents, Burnley, currently sitting in 19th place and five points off safety. Obviously, we've already played them once this season at Turf Moor, beating them 3-1, and I'd take that again today, please. And without jinxing it, I think playing someone like a Burnley might suit Villa today. I think unlike Sheffield United, they're unlikely to sit back and invite pressure. They're going to come to Villa Park and try and play. And anyway, without being arrogant, we should be getting three points today. And after results went our way in the week with Arsenal and Spurs losing, it's an opportunity to get back on track. Are we going to win today? Definitely. Does everybody like Tiff's jumper, by the way? A little retro Villa number. But if you don't want to wear a uh, retro gear to the football you can always go and check out luke 1977 like i'm wearing a bit at the moment link in the description and if you use my code max20 you can get 20 percent off i believe that's only on full price items as well they've got loads of sale stuff on at the moment but you can use max20 on full price items for a massive 20 percent off link in the description go and check out luke anyway without further ado let's get the train let's get into town up the villa Final match day of 2023. Back at Villa Park. Got to win today, haven't we, son? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we have. Yeah, We need to get back on track, don't we? Disappointing on Boxing Day in the yeah. end. You know, I think controlling the game for a 50, 60 minute period and then we just sort of collapsed, didn't we? Which hasn't been in our makeup under Runei. Going into 2024 then, what are you hoping for? What should we sort of look out for? Champions League football. Are we finally going to win a trophy in 2024? Come on. I feel like we'd be kind of disappointed if we didn't finish in the Champions League position. I think, I think the aim's got to be top I think it's got to be the aim. I think it would still be an absolute amazing achievement yeah, you got there and so you're right Conference League as well on the horizon FA Cup still to come you hope we can have a run in one of them and hopefully get some silverware yeah. Lowe was just talking about injuries and suspensions today obviously Kamara's out for one more game hopefully Tielemans might be back just after the Borough game Pal Torres is a bit 50-50 today Leon Bailey as well so I think if you can get through today sort of unscathed get the three points by any means necessary we'll be okay Borough next week in the FA Cup rest a few buds for that we should be okay Right then, son, let's have your score prediction. Hit me. Burnley at home, what are we saying? I think it'll be tight. I think it'll be tight. Yeah, I do. I think it'll be tight. I'm going to be a bit nervy at times today, but 2-1. Um, 2-1. Oh, not yeah. even a clean sheet today. We don't keep clean sheets. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to go with a 3-0 today. I fancy Diaby maybe getting on the score sheet. He deserves a goal. Watkins, of course, that's been a while after a disappointing show at Old Trafford. 3-0 today. Clean sheet. Right then, run into Nathan. What's your score prediction today, mate? 2 0. Oh, clean sheet tonight. Yep. Give us a big up the villa, mate. Up the villa! <laughs> Score prediction then, so what are we saying today? 3-1 to the Villa. No doubts about it. Give oh. us, oh, a bit nervous. Yeah, oh. slightly. Give us an up the Villa, sir. Up the Villa. What do you reckon today then, Tiff? Oh. I've said 3-0. Are you as confident? What do you reckon? No. No? I think 2-1. Ooh. You take that Change though, as mind. long as we get three points today. Yeah. Give us an up the Villa, Tiff. Up the Villa. <laughs> There's no Matty Cash today, um, but in terms of team news, I don't mind. McGinn's back in the middle. Den Donk has lost his place. It's Burnley, like, no offence. I'm not being arrogant, but especially away from home this season. They haven't been amazing. We should still be getting three points today. Just get the job done, go into second, hopefully, for the time being. So how good does a Saturday 3 o'clock feel, by the way? It does feel really good, but we're in that period of the year where I mean, every day feels like a Saturday, so it makes no difference to me. <laughs> Gotta be a win today, innit? It has to. Hopefully, they play a little bit more expansive than Sheffield United. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Oh, no. It'll be really cagey to start with, and then I think Burnley will try and grow into the game and we'll pick them off. Come on then, Villa boys! Oh, lucky Villa boys. Lively start, lively. Oh. Ollie Watkins with an effort. Moreno done really well. Yeah, Moreno does well to be fair. We'll start this game okay. In each other's way. Yes! Come on! Get in there, Liam! Yes, man! 
Come on! It's that boy again! Oh, John, he loves a goal. It's taken a bit of an horrible deflection again. Who cares? When it goes to Watkins, yes. there's no one else is going to run for him. Yeah. So he did the hard work. Well Come done. on! Great ball over the top to Watkins. Like Aaron said, he does the hard work. Fires it across. Diaby's in his way a little bit. Great finish. A little bit of a deflection. Do we care? No, he don't. So in, yeah. He comes from Jamaica. Simon Arminer. Hey, hey, Leon Bailey. Yeah. He's our winger. He comes from Jamaica. Go on, son. You're such a curse. <laughs> I literally said, look at the league table before they score. Set piece, goal. Oh, corner ball. Come on, Villa. Oh, yep. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Is he going to give that as offside? I mean, everybody's paused as if he's offside. All the burning players being booked for moaning as well. Yeah, it's a bit subdued. Was that offside? It looks like it a little bit. Watkins. We'll take it. Really good player. Though. Yeah, great goal. goal. Great goal. But it's all a bit quiet. Checking possible offside. It did look close, this. Diaby with that goal that I called. Oh, he might be on. I think he might be on, you know. I mean, he's got some mad signals to be able to see that goal. Yes! He's giving it! <laughs> a little bit of luck. That'll do me. Again, and real boy Watkins. Diaby with his goal. Diaby! Musa! Go on, Moose. Do you know what? I think it's been okay. I think there's elements in there of Villa being a little bit tired. You can tell there's a little bit of complacency. Passing the ball out of play a couple of times. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. I think we're getting away with it a little bit because of how poor Burnley are. I think defensively, we are a little bit, a little bit nervous. Obviously, it's long lane Carlos again. We saw a little bit of Manchester United, how those two can fall apart. Watkins especially has done absolutely unbelievably well for the two goals. I called the Diaby goal, it's great to see him back on the score sheet as well after a difficult few weeks. But at the moment, keep your heads, don't do anything silly. I think we'll be absolutely fine today. We're currently second, the league table looks amazing as it stands. Just keep our heads, nothing silly, don't concede any more silly goals. We'll be fine today. Up the Villa. Come on Villa boys. No, get up, get up, you muppet. Wow! Sandenberg centre! We were calling for a yellow and he said she's off. I didn't even realise he was booked. I think he got booked for the, uh, the goal. The DRB goal yeah. when they were all dropping off. That'll do me. Sandenberg off, that's bad for Burnley that. <laughs> Silly that is, all he's done is pulled the shirt. Really daft. Torres on for long life. In long life, he's done okay. Good to see Paul Torres back. Oh, I well, he missed. Come on! This is silly, this. Oh, this is getting silly, boys. The yeah, has been really good today. Yeah, he has. He's done really well. Looks lively for once. Oh, my God! This is getting really silly now. Every time we cut the ball back and we blow the chance. How many do we need I'll here? I'll tell you what, if we blow this... No, 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 no. Don't be daft. We'll be all right. Don't be daft. We'll be all right. How many chances do we need to have to wrap this up? One ball over the top. Goal given. Decision goal. Foster again. Now they're just going to shut up shop and we're going to struggle to break them down. We need to convert one of these chances. We had no problem creating them. Let's put them away. Jarby's making way for Duran. Come on, John. I mean, Jarby's been better than he has been in recent weeks. Yeah, Jarby's done well. Come on, Duran, do something, son. Do a bit more. Don't get the puffs. <laughs> oh, shit, that is it. Get up now, Duran. Just get up, son. Get up. What do you make of that? <laughs> Duran went over and gone down like he's been shot. It's but we are the other end, so it's hard to tell. He took an absolute age to give that. Fair play Duran for getting there, by the way. What's going on? We ain't got a clue. People are cheering. There's nothing on the screen. It hasn't even come up that he's gone to VAR. Yeah, this is a horrible run up. Blown that. Oh my god. Douglas Lewis! Douglas Lewis! Douglas Lewis! Douglas Lewis! Come on! Yeah! Go on, Dougie! Nine added minutes. 
nine minutes. Hey, hey, Leo Belli, hey, hey, hey. Dami, dami, dami. he's our winger. He comes from Jamaica. What a Leon. Well, not the most convincing when you're ever likely to see. An ugly one, but it doesn't matter. That's what you need. Back on track at Villa Park. A last minute winner. They nearly didn't go in. Second in the league. We'll absolutely take that, Villa fans. Have a happy new year, because I will. Second in the league. Yeah, not the greatest win you're ever likely to see, but doesn't matter what's more important, the result or the performance. It's pretty obvious. I think for the first two goals, Ollie Watkins does amazingly well to get two assists. That now means he's got the most assists in the Premier League. Absolutely unbelievable. Even if he doesn't score every single week, he's involved. He's contributing. A little bit like Leon Bailey, who's banging form this season. 18 games in the Premier League, six goals. I think that's right. You can't complain at all with that. He's on fire as well, that man. It's nice to see Diaby back in the starting 11 today. Obviously, he gets his goal as well with that goal that I thought was offside, but obviously, it wasn't. Really, really nice to see him back on the score sheet again. I thought he was a lot better today than he has been in the last weeks or months even. But defensively, we were naive at times again today. Their first goal from a set piece, we just switch off. There's a man at the back stick. Their second goal as well is a ball over the top and fair play. Lyle Foster exploits our high line. But how many chances at 2-1 did we have to kill off the game and we just couldn't do it? Again, I think it, it was just sort of one of them games. Ramsey fires over the bar. Diaby had a chance, I think. We just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. And luckily, we get that penalty. John Duran wins it. Ironically, it's Aaron Ramsey who gives it away. And no matter how many times I've watched it, I must have watched it about 15 times on the journey back here. I can't tell if it's a penalty or not, it looks a little bit soft for me. Again, you get those bits of luck though, don't you, throughout the season, obviously, in the Sheffield United game, we had a push on Watkins, we had a handball that just wasn't given, stupidly. So luckily today went in our favour, fair play John Durant for winning it, and Louise nearly missed it, didn't he? Bit of a break now in the Premier League, obviously next week we've got Borough in the FA Cup, and then Everton away in a couple of weeks. Please do subscribe to the channel, get involved in the comments as well, let us know your thoughts on the game, leave a like on the video, that would be massively appreciated as well. And I shall see you next week for the trip up to Middlesbrough. Up the villa.